What is up, everybody? Aaron Impens here today. And today we're going to talk about how to be successful in real estate. There's many different ways to do it, but we're going to talk about the rental property and how to be successful with rental properties long term. <laughs> Here's three things that I think are going to make you successful in the long-term rental property of real estate. Three things. Okay. The first is going to be, you're going to need to establish your criteria. Okay. What is that? What does that mean? What are you going to like about the property? That's going to be first and foremost. If you don't like the property, you're not going to want to own it long-term. So think about that. Do, does that mean you want it to be a, a single family home? Um, does it mean you want it to be buying only multifamilies only? I don't know. It's up to you. It's what you like. Okay. This is a simple criteria. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be ultra specific. You know, let's talk about these single family homes. Maybe you're going to want three bed, two bath homes. Um, you know, you're going to fit a good family in there. Maybe for these multifamily units, you want a minimum of 12 units um, and they need to be two beds or more. Two bed, one bath units. It's up to you. This is, this is more of a personal preference of a criteria. It's not going to necessarily make or break what you, what you do long term with real estate. It's got to be something that you're going to like and want to own. Okay. So the type of property, that's what that is. Okay. Then you want to establish what kind of price range you feel comfortable with. Okay. Um, when you're looking at that, so we're going to talk about price range. This may be, this may be determined on how much money you have available to invest. Um, we'll talk about in other videos as to what type of specific criteria makes for good cash flowing rentals. But for, for, for this video's sake, let's talk about just what you are, what your kind of price range you feel good with, you know, what kind of money do you have to invest? Do you have million dollars? Do you have $50,000? What, what, what is your investment price range? You know, for a good single family home where you're going to rent it out for a thousand dollars, you could expect to pay around a hundred thousand bucks. Okay. For a single family, single family, um, $1,000 rent. That's just a rough ballpark. Maybe that's something that you like. Maybe it's something that you don't like. Uh, again, it's something that you have to determine as your criteria with this 12 units, you know, you're going to have, maybe you're going to have to pay, um, $500,000 for that. And you want all of those units to be renting for 600 a unit. Again, we can talk in great detail about this in another video, but these are some kind of rough numbers and something that you're going to want to establish when you get started buying your long-term real estate. Okay. So the type of property, the price range that you want to be in and what's comfortable for you and the area, that's the last one in the criteria, the area. Okay. You can invest nationwide. You can invest worldwide for that matter, but invest in an area um, that is comfortable to you. I would recommend if you're first starting out, you either partner some with someone that is successful in an area that they are comfortable with, or you, or you buy in your own backyard. Again, don't have a limiting belief that you have to stay in your backyard because trust me, there's plenty of good deals everywhere. Um, but if you're trying to do this and get started, your own backyard is a great place to start because you know it, you know it. So find a good area. So what makes for a good area? Okay. You're going to want to see good job growth. Um, you're going to want to see, um, um, other things going on. You're going to want to see, wow, just drop the cap to the marker. Anyways, nothing ever goes right in these things, right? That's no big deal. Along with the job growth, you want low unemployment. Okay. That's another good one that you're going to want to look for in an area, low unemployment. One of the other big things that I would think of 
when you're looking at a good area. And the areas that I live in, they're all expanding. Everything's growing. Um, my main town is a college town. It's always growing. Um, so I would, I would look at something like that as well, too. Is, is the area continuing to grow? Are people moving there? So um, just growth overall and expansion. Okay? Those are all kind of the things that you're going to want to look for in your, when you're starting to create your criteria. The type of property you want, the price range you want to be investing in, and the area that you want to be investing in. Again, don't limit yourself just because maybe you don't know the price range or the area. Maybe find a partner that does know and is experienced that you could partner with on them. Okay, so that's first, criteria. Now let me clear this off here. All right, let's talk about the second key to being successful in long-term real estate, okay? It's going to be systems. Now, what is a system? What does that mean? Um, a system is something that you have documented that you can give to someone or to yourself that you can then repeat, okay? So let's take, for instance, you're going to be in buying and purchasing rental investment properties. What would that system look like? Okay, I'll oversimplify it here. You can get as detailed as you want, but let's start with, let's start with a, a simple system for buying a rental property. What's first and foremost? Well, you gotta go find one, right? So you gotta go find the, find the property. So you're gonna go view properties, properties. Now you can find these properties many different ways. You can do your own marketing. You could partner with a real estate agent that could obviously help you show you could some good rental properties as well. But ultimately you have to go out there and view the property. Okay, so what's next? After you viewed the property, you're like, yep, okay. It's uh, the price range I want. It's in the area that I want. I like the property. What do I need to do next? Well, now I need to offer on it. Offer, make an offer on the property. Okay, that's easy. Again, if you're working with a real estate agent, they obviously know how to help you with that and you get your offer submitted. If you're working directly with the seller, you can talk to a local title company. They might be able to help you out with a simple for sale by owner purchase agreement that you'd be able to use. They usually have some instructions in there as well to kind of help you go through a for sale by owner situation. Okay, so you've viewed the property, you've offered on the property. Let's say the offer gets accepted. Well, what's next? Well unless you're just made of money, you're going to have to get some financing. So that'd be the next in the system. Get financing. Okay. Now this is something that you probably want to start building a relationship with uh, someone at a bank. You know, I recommend local banks, but any bank that you build a relationship with that um, they can help make sure that you've um, qualified for this loan for that type of property for that specific amount. And that way, after you get that offer accepted, you know the, the financing is in place, okay? But that's next in the system, you get the financing. Okay, so you've been to the bank, you got all your financing put in place, everything's good to go. Next up, close on the property. Okay, you close on the property. Again, if you're working with a real estate agent, they'll obviously guide you through this process, but you go to a title company, or use an attorney and you close on the property, you take ownership of it, you pay with the financing that you have, you end up getting clear title and ownership of the property, good to go. Okay, so you now own the property. What would I say is probably last in this system, again, we're talking about long-term rentals here, is you need to implement property management. Implement property management. I promise you, you do not want to be managing these things by yourself. So implement some property management. Find a good one, interview them, um, and make sure that they fit your needs and get a good property management uh, company put in place, okay? Once you've implemented that property management company, they take over from there. They're gonna find your tenant, they're gonna put them in place. This system is done, done. System right here, this is a system. Okay, this is just a fancy word for a bunch of instructions that are written down somewhere that you can follow. That's it. That's all it is. So you come up with your own system, 
Maybe this can look a little different for you. You view the property, you offer on the property, you don't need to get financing. So that doesn't need to be in your system. The create a system, okay? Write it down, document what you do so you can do it over again. All right, I'll talk about the third key here. Okay, so the third key that I think is will make you successful, long-term real estate, and I've kind of hinted at it as we've went along, but it's easy, I'll just spell it out for you. Repeat, that's it. It is literally that simple, okay? Once you've nailed down the criteria and what you wanna buy, make sure it's an investment that fits your needs and you have the system in place on how to acquire that property and get it put into service, all you have to do is repeat. It's that simple. It is literally that simple. Make sure your system is written down, make sure you've established your criteria and just repeat it. Here's one thing that I wanna make sure that you guys stay away from. I'll write this one down too. Shiny object syndrome. You know what that is? Well, I can tell you what it is. It's all the cool things that you see on the interwebs and the Facebooks and the YouTubes and whatever. Oh, well, I could do an Airbnb or I could do a VRBO or I could, I could uh, all kinds of different crazy things. All these cool new things, you know, maybe I, can, maybe I can write a book and become successful at real estate or maybe I can buy option contracts for real estate. It's all this shiny object stuff that everybody says is cool and very flashy. Don't do it. Stay away. Stay away from shiny object syndrome. I promise you, all you need is your criteria, your systems, and to repeat. That's it. Those are the keys to being successful in the long-term real estate world. This, this is just a little, uh, a little tidbit into the information that I can provide. Uh, my name's Aaron Impens. I've got real estate valued over a million dollars, own 150 plus rentals, and have flipped over 300, uh, 300 houses as well. This is how I do the long-term rental stuff, and I want to make sure and continue to share that knowledge with you guys, so make sure you keep tuning in.